Hi, I'm Joe Kurtenbach with American Rifleman, and today I'm going to give you a first look at the Smith & Wesson M&P Shield. The Smith & Wesson M&P Shield is designed for concealed carry. Its dimensions put it soundly in the subcompact category, but its most distinguishing feature is its sub 1 inch width. Even at the grips, it's only 0.98 inches wide. The shield has a 3.1 inch barrel and, is ch and can be chambered in either 9mm or 40 Smith & Wesson. What this means is you're still getting full-size power out of a very small gun. As with other handguns in the MMP line, the shield has a molded polymer frame and a steel slide and barrel. The slide and barrel are also coated in a melanite finish for extra durability. Unlike many subcompact handguns, the MMP shield retains full controls on a left frame side panel, including magazine release, thumb safety, slide lock, and a takedown lever. The sights on the MMP Shield are of the standard three-dot variety. An interesting mechanical feature is the sear release lever, which can be accessed by locking the slide to the rear. By manipulating it with a pen or other small tool, the handgun can be taken down and disassembled without having to pull the trigger, an important safety feature required now. Another new design on the MMP Shield is the trigger. While most MMPs had a very smooth and crisp trigger, they lacked a clear reset. So the engineers at Smith & Wesson went back and redesigned this to give not only an audible but a tactile reset cue. Through judicious use of non-disclosure agreements, Smith & Wesson has already lined up companies to provide accessories such as holsters, sights, and lasers for the MMP Shield available on the day of launch. For more on the MMP Shield and a full list of companies providing accessories, go to www.smithandwesson.com.